Welcome back, everyone! Oh, yeah. This is Geronitis bringing you Pandemicraft Season 4. Today we are starting on Episode 15. Yes. Um, That's what you forced us all to say. Yes. Um, this seems bigger than I remember. Oh. This seems... Um, yeah, Max, you've been busy. A or bit. rather, or rather your bots have been busy. <laughs> well, you know, actually, I, I should have known better. Uh, I should have known this is exactly what I was going to find. When Max gets to mining stuff, when he gets, you know, his turtles going or in a, whoa, 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 stop, stop, Max, stop, turn around, fly back north. North? <laughs> when you jump and you have <laughs> when you glide like that your googly eyes are up above your glider <laughs> so like it's like you got a pair of headlights you're you're, you're <laughs> that is awesome yeah i know right it's like maybe yeah okay anyway uh <laughs> what was i saying right when i give max the ability to use turtles or a quarry or of any kind like that he will make sure that they are constantly running, um, which is really cool. Because the turtles, as long as the server doesn't, uh, you know, reset or anything, up, yeah. then uh, then it'll work. And he apparently, how did you do this overnight? Ma okay, let me rephrase. Max, how many turtles do we have now? Five. Five. Okay, that explains okay, how we did run, this overnight. The one running solo did the tears. Oh, hey, look, there is one. There. I see one right there. Can I shoot it with a bolt? Will it matter? I don't know. Well, it's not. But yes, there's one right there. Anyway, so uh, after last episode, I went and created a Fluivac, which is actually a really easy thing to make. Uh, the Fluivac is just a bucket, a leadstone flux capacitor, invar, bronze gear, and redstone. And then we have to recharge it. And since I had already made a uh, resonant re flux capacitor a couple episodes back, uh, this is now a permanent uh, Fluivac. So the Fluivac is really cool. Um, I can swim in lava because of the, the lava pendant. So this won't matter to me. But uh, here, let me show you guys. If I right click with this, it takes up the block of liquid in front of me. Let's see, as you can see, I'm, I'm sucking up the lava. Uh, this is gonna make cleaning up these giant lava fountains that are left behind a lot easier. Um, so we can just sit here and right click. The really cool part about this is if we were to, let me get out of the lava for a second. All this lava that I'm clicking on by right clicking on it, it's going into this portable tank that I'm carrying around with me. So it automatically fills the portable tank or some water. I may not be taking damage, but it's still annoying. All right. And the other thing we can do we, while holding this, we can push C and it changes it to orange mode, which lets me do this. So anyway, blue is input, orange is output, as is normal with all of these. Howie. Yes. That was a delayed response. Oh, hey. We actually have uh, manual crafting grids. I didn't notice that. Huh. Neat. If you look at the ground and push C, a crafting grid will appear. And then you can right-click uh, items into it, and it'll craft to the item... At least that's how it's supposed mm. to work. Let me see if it... I, I'm, it's been a long time since I've seen this. Let me just grab a couple pieces of cobblestone real quick. And we'll test this. Okay. Or are you just making Let's waffles? See. Yeah, look at that. And then I think you push C and it gives you the... Yep. That is so cool. I've forgotten that existed. <clears throat> so you have a crafting grid with you everywhere you go. Anyway, so, um, oh dear. Okay, I'll have to worry about uh, lava cleanup later. If we have this much stuff, oh, if we he's to cut through this much, we're going to have a bunch of stuff. Uh, I know at the end of last episode I said I was going to do ore processing next. I guess it's a really good thing because... Ore. Um, yeah. 
let's see, nine stacks of tin, seven stacks of copper, 31 stacks of iron. Oh, my God. Um, silver, we have enough silver. I don't care. Gold, we were running so low on gold. Seven stacks of gold. Excellent. And a stack of ferrous, some uranium. Excellent. Oh, oh cool. We even have a stack plus 27 of uh, draconium dust. Okay, so we need to get ore processing started on this. Um, realistically, we could probably just put it all in the smeltery and let the smeltery do it. But I want to do things a little bit differently because I'm me and I'm special like that. Um, so let's go upstairs. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't go upstairs. This stuff's right here. And this wall... Okay, this is the northern wall. Let's go upstairs real quick and see. Okay, northern wall is this wall. Ah, the power is coming up in the northern wall. Well, the northeast corner is where that is, isn't it? So I'd have to traverse from one... Well, what's in the north? Well, let's take a look. Cause, well, I mean, realistically, I could put this almost anywhere I want. Yeah. Yeah, oh, hey. The bots are dumping. Look, here comes the stuff. I'm watching it flow through the pipes. That is so cool to watch. And yoink. Nice. All right, so I could probably put the ore pro auto processing right here, but I think I want to put it upstairs instead. I, I think I want to keep my IC2 stuff closer together. Um... Well, I want to make it so it automatically processes, but we still have access to these machines without... See, I want an auto set of machines, but I also want a manual set of machines in case we want to use them manually. So we're going to need to make a extra... Actually, we're going to need to make an extra macerator. Everything else is going to be made new because we've never made it before. So, yeah. Max, can you make a macerator for me? Uh, sure. I'm going to explore the secondaries, because we're going to need three new machines, I believe. So, let's see. We're going to make... <clears throat> Max is going to make us a macerator. We should have everything we need for that. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you can make a macerator, no problem. And after that, we're going to need a ore washing plant. Okay, the ore washing plant, ew, we're going to need more electric motors, which is tin item casings, iron, and coils. Coils is copper wire around iron plates. How much copper wire do we have handy? Oh, hey, we have two coils. How many did I need? I need four, of course. Okay, do we have any copper wire made already? Check. Uh, let's check I don't there. see any. Uh, we'll have to extrude some copper yes. wire. What? Extrude Where? Copper. Wire or cable? Wire. The wood, ch oh, the wood chest, but it's cable. No, yeah, yeah, that's insulated copper cable. I just need the, the straight wire, because I, I need to make a, a motor, which is going to require the... Uh, we're going to have to, you know, you know how mo motors are actually made. You take copper wire, you wind it around a... Uh, yep. Magnets. I was about to say, a magnet inside. Or no, it creates a magnet, doesn't it? Right. Well, yeah, you, you, right. You, you alternate electricity to create negative Magnetic and positive force. poles. Yep. Yeah. Poles. So, so this is actually made it fairly decently right. Uh, so let's see. Yep. All right, cool. So this is, whoops, no, 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 no. We need to extrude because that should extrude. What the, what just happened? Why did it eject the copper ingots? I don't know. But cool. Yeah, here we are. We got wire making. We should, you know, I think we're going to use these motors a lot. So maybe I should make extra ones. Well, let's see. We're going to need the two electric motors, which is going to be four copper coils, which is going to be, well, actually, we only need 16 more wire, technically, because I've got enough for one of these. So, yeah, sure. Th this will work. This will work. Let's just get the ore washing plant made for starters. I thought you had some iron ingots up here. I thought I did too. Yeah, not anymore. So I'm debating about the, the 
third and final step. I know what I'm going to do for the first steps of this. And that's going to be fine. But the other steps, I'm debating over what I should do with them. Uh, obviously, first we're going to macerate. After we macerate, we're going to... Okay, another iron and ten item casings. Do we have ten item casings, Max? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, let's go up this way. <clears throat> oh, actually, they would be over here. Yeah, we've got plenty of tin item casings. So then we should be able to make the motors. And then we need buckets, iron plates, basic machine frame, and electronic circuits. There's the circuits. Here's iron plates. Are they normal? Yes, iron plates, machine casing, buckets. Oh, I don't know if we have enough iron plates currently. As a matter of fact, I'm sure we don't. That's okay. I can make some. We can do the thing. Extrude. I think I put my ingots in the uh, rolling machine. Oh, excellent. We actually have a bunch of iron already up there. So this should work out here. Now, the other thing we're going to need to do this is going to be... I wonder, yeah, you know, I don't, uh, the, well, no, because the way we're going to do it, if I was doing this in single player, I would do it a different way, but I, I would actually make multiple ore washers so that it would run faster, but I'm really not worried about doing things faster, so go. Nice, we now have an ore washing plant. All right, so the ore washing plant, um, well, let's see, if we put that there and then that here. We're going to leave a couple spaces open. Oh, we'll leave one space open. Then there's the macerator. Then the ore washing plant will go here. The ore washing plant requires power, of course, but we're also going to have to bring water into it. And the water is going to have to be done fairly quickly. I've got water right here going in over there. I wonder if I can actually... Uh, I probably can. How much do we have in the way of those pipes? That way I don't have to make another water node. Oh, no, 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 no. Because of the way I'm going to do this, I want it to have its own. Yeah, it needs to have its own thing. Uh, YouTube, give me just a second. I need to set up a infinite water source. And I'm going to have to craft a couple of things that we've already done a bunch of before. Oh, wait, no, I've got a liquid transfer node. Um, I don't think I'll need a pipe. Oh, I'll need a world interaction upgrade that I don't have currently. But that's okay. We can make one of those real quick as well. Let's see. It's the diamond pickaxe. Did you just throw something at me, Max? Yes, I did. <clears throat> what did you throw at me? What did you ask for? Iron and lapis. Um. Iron? Ooh, yeah, but that was after what you originally asked Oh, before. the macerator. Nice. Thank you. Well, good. Except that I need the iron that's downstairs again. We've got to start keeping our, our uh, metals. Ingots. Yeah, yeah we've got to start keeping our metals upstairs. But, well, actually, since we're going to be doing the processing upstairs, I just need to, to set apart a place to keep said metals. What am I doing over here? I'm trying to... No. You ask at me? I have no idea, Max. I'm completely lost at this point. It happens quite frequently. I'm sure you've noticed. Uh -huh. Alright, so we should be able to chop through this wall. Ew. That leads outside. Mm. I can uh, fill it in. Alright, I need two buckets of water. <clears throat> And some dirt. I got one. Huh. All right, so there and there. I need you to put a bucket of water in each of those two holes. And then this there. Back. And then this gets this. And then... Okay, is this working? Sweet, that's working. 
Now, I'll add speed upgrades as necessary because I think I'll be using water faster than this is actually going to be putting it in. But we shall see about that. Then we're going to need the macerator here. Uh, Max, I'm going to need three in ejector upgrades. Three ejector upgrades? Yeah, if you just look at eject, yep, the yellow one, ejector upgrade. So yeah, I'm going to need some of those. And we're going to need, like, uh, I'll tell you what, here, here's some, well, no, you can't do that yet. Once I get the ore processing done, I want you to make, like, three stacks of electronic circuits, because we're going to use them all eventually. Okay. Okay, do we have gold wire? Yes, we do. Good. All right, let's go ahead and run the power over to these machines. Haha, ha, nice try. Haha, ha, nice try again. The water keeps trying to flow through here, and I'm not letting it. Haha. Ha. Okay, so that should take care of that. So we've got the macerator, and then we've got the ore washing plant. After the ore washing plant, things are going to get complicated after the ore washing plant. I'll have to figure out how to run this to deal with small things. Um, I wonder if I should move the... But yeah, yeah, I, I might could do that. See, this is why I didn't want to do it up here, because it's probably going to be ugly. I don't like ugly. Um, let's see. But anyway, after that, we're going to need the thermal centrifuge. And this is... Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, um, that's fine. Did I make extra motors? Yeah, I made the extra motors. Iron, I'm gonna need more coils. I'm gonna need an advanced machine casing. So yeah, this is gonna take an extra couple minutes. Um, refined iron plate, that's just steel plates. Ooh, advanced alloys. I haven't made any advanced alloys yet. Okay, that's just the mixed metal, which is iron, bronze, and tin plates. Uh, I'm not sure we have tin enough for that. How many are we gonna need? We're gonna need one, two, three. Oh no, we're gonna need two. Two. Okay, we should have enough for that, and we're gonna have to compress some. Uh, we're gonna have to grind and compress some coal. Let's see, and then a mining laser. I've never made a mining laser. Oh, there's more advanced alloys, so that's three more of those. Oh, an advanced circuit. Uh oh, advanced circuit. We're going to need more intricate circuit boards, redstone chipsets, and basic capacitors. Oh, hey, it's gonna we're going to get started in under I.O., apparently. Lapis electron tubes, signalum nuggets. We have signalum nuggets. That's not a big deal. And then what is this? Iron turning blank. Iron turning blank? Um, okay. Iron dust, lathing tool. An iron turning blank handle. Okay, well, this is made in a turning table. Let's see what it takes to make a turning table. I've never even heard of the turning table, so. Turning table. Iron plates, iron shafts, basic machine casing, and item casings. I should be able to make that turning table right now. Let's take a look at it real quick. And then I'll probably take a break real quick while I figure out some of this other stuff. Um, iron, iron plates... Iron casings. Okay, I need a machine frame. We're going to need more machine frames as well. I've got that, though. So, oh, yep, there's two shafts of iron. So, I think, other than... Oh, yeah, I need three more iron plates, which I think will be over here. Yes, excellent. So let's make this right here. Anybody else uh, currently available ever make a turning table? Truly made ours, so I have no idea how it works. Okay, well, I'm going to... Whoa, hey, that face is up. Okay, turning table. Um, do we have a recipes section for this? Where do I... No. Okay. Iron turning blank. Okay, this is the iron turning blank is this. Item iron casing and iron ingot. Okay, let's, let's make one of those. Do I have... Yeah, nope, I need the iron casing but this is interesting to say the least i think it's just a lathe i mean i think what it comes down to is it's, it's turning table it's actually a lathe let's make a let's make one of these and in theory this will be what we start out with maybe 
Can we put this in here? Ooh, we can. Oh dear. Okay. Five, 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 five. Okay, let's look at the laser again. Because the laser showed that we need a iron turning blank <clears throat> in a handle shape. Okay, so it's four out of five, three out of five, two out of five, two out of five, and two out of five. But how do we actually do that? We need a lathing tool. We need a lathing tool. Okay, iron casings and a steel plate. I can do that too. I got that. There we go. This will inevitably be a tool that winds up breaking, but that and that and that. Cool. Well, it's, yeah, yeah, lathing tool. So I guess I'm right. It is a lathe. Okay, so if we put this in here. How do I... How do I change this? Very carefully. Um, okay, so let me look at this again. Four out of five, three out of five, two, two, and two. That's wonderful. How does this work, though? Okay, it says I put in the handle here, but making the handle is the handle. So I'm assuming that I have to cut this down. But how do I... Do I... No. Clicking that there doesn't do... Okay, so that puts us here. I don't understand. Okay, YouTube, hang on a second. Let me figure out how this works. All right, we're back. Um, so this actually isn't that big a deal. Uh, apparently, we need kinetic energy, and the easiest way to... Okay, that's weird. You can take a basic machine casing and put it in your crafting window, and it'll give you eight iron ingots back for it. Because why wouldn't you do that? All right, so I'm making a kinetic generator. Now, see, it says power output 400 KU max. Okay, I... see, normally machines run on EU. But this turntable runs on KU, which is kinetic energy units. Now, yep, so if we right-click this thing repeatedly, it's generating the KU. So now I should be able to do this, and if I look up handles... Who's throwing handles? Oh, nope, that was not the right thing to do. Let's just go back to the... This is more complicated than I expected, which actually is kind of funny considering this is something that should be expected. So 43222. Okay, so for 43222, I should go click. Nothing happened. 4. Oh. 3. Oh. Okay, I can see where this would actually be very irritating to have to do frequently so i went with the easy because it's easy but obviously there are ways that i could do this automatically and i probably should but realistically i don't know if i'm ever going to use this machine again so there it's done and we get six tiny piles of iron dust, which I will deal with at a different time. So if I ever have to use this machine again, I might regret making it manual, and I might make the non-manual version of it. But for now, I really don't care. So let's see. The other thing we're going to need, we need the advanced alloys. So let's see. This needs this, which needs this, which needs that, which is this. Booyah. All right, so that's 42 of those in the compressor. Hooray! We're making things. Okay, good. So this requires three of those. We're going to need an energy crystal and an advanced circuit. Max, do we have any um, intricate circuit boards left over? Uh, User how's this? Your channel. Hi. Hey, Chewie! Darren? You got here just too late. Darren? Yes. Well, try this again. We're recording, by the way, Chewie. Oh, okay. Ah, intricate circuit boards. Sweet. Um, I was just trying to figure out how the turning table worked, and you could have been here and said, well, it works like this, and that would have been wonderful, but you weren't here, so 
now that I've already figured out how it works, you're here, and it's like, yay, I'm gonna hurt him. <clears throat> I'm working on making my first thermal centrifuge. Refined iron plates, that and that. Oh, I forgot to grind the... Daggummit, I forgot to grind the coal. But I did remember to grind the diamonds. Diamonds? Diamonds! Actually, I wonder, do we have... I don't need to grind the coal. I've got the stuff. What's wrong with me? Okay, so I need those and this. I've got this and these. I'm going to need... Wait a minute. I thought the advanced thing, advanced machine case required an advanced... Actually, okay, apparently it doesn't. That's fine. Let's see. Machine casing is going to... I know I just put extra machine casings in here. There it is. Okay, machine casings. Got these and those. And... What am I missing? Ah, right, the steel plates. Steel plates. Sweet. Okay, so I should be able to make the advanced machine casing now. Nice. All right, so I'm going to need two more uh, copper coils, which... Do we have any more copper wire that's unsheathed? Oh, good lord, yeah, yeah we've got... The, holy crap. Screwed. Yep, uh, <clears throat> we've got a couple of those. All right, any iron that's not already turned? Yep, iron ingots. Okay, we're going to finish making the rest of this stuff, and then we'll go back after the other. How many iron ingots do you need? I don't need any now. Okay, so I need one advanced machine circuit, which I have everything I need for except the basic capacitor. I need signal. I need a lapis electron tube. You're not grabbing my stuff, are you? Okay. Showing you are. Yeah, I'm not intentionally. Okay, so we should be able to do this. And then this and this. Sweet. You know, we're going to make a couple extras of these, and why not? Okay, so now... You know, I'm going to get the stuff made, and we're not going to be able to get the stuff set up at this point. Okay, um, so yes, I need my Signalum Nuggets. I have some Signalum around here somewhere, because I remember running into the Nuggets. There they are. Sweet. Okay, so now I should, I think I'm going to be able to actually get this made now. Make this. And then make this. Oh no, I don't have the circuits. Da -da 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 How many circuits do you need? Why did that work? Everything oh, you know, I don't have any more redstone chipsets. Poor shame. Do what, Joey? No, no, I was talking Tarantian. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so that's working there. Okay. What else do I need? Oh, I need the energy crystal. Whoa, are you throwing stuff at me again? Yep. What did you throw at me? Take a look. I, Max, my inventory is such a mess right now that you tell me to take... 64 electronic circuits. Ah! Hey, look at that. Um, yes, thank you, Renshin. I, I get confused enough without stuff going on in the background. Okay, okay, so I need <laughs> the energy. The Where's the... Oh, I've got that, so I need this. No, not that. This. Which means that now I need this, 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 that, this. And then we go running back over here. Don't mind me. I'm just crazy. Okay, good. So now we got that. Um, I think all I need now is the uh, redstone chipsets. Nice. I think we're going to have a thermal centrifuge functioning in just a second. Can I do this? now i can excellent and then nope not that this oh no what am i missing what do you need i don't know i mean them? i said what am i missing not because i know what i'm missing but because i don't know what i'm missing maybe you just can't shift click the recipe it looks like you just can't shift click the recipe oh of course you can't shift click it it has an energy crystal involved yay i made a mining laser now to, now we get to use the mining laser. Oh, wait. No, we won't. That plus this and this plus this. 
and this, and that, and that. Booyah! Thermal 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 centrifuge. I have a thermal centrifuge. Isn't Very that... nice. Okay, so <laughs> there's the thermal centrifuge, and it's okay. It's, it is getting power. Wow, that thing must take. Oh, it's probably taking power really slowly because. Oh, thank God that. Oh man, it's a good thing that the uh, exploding machines is turned off because I have a feeling that this thing would have just exploded. Yeah, 128 EU per tick max, and I just hooked it up to 512. What? So, yeah, I'm I'm glad that exploding machines is not a thing when it comes to this because wow. Okay, so yes. I think now. Yes, okay, so we're going to have the ejector upgrades. We're going to get this thing functioning, and then I'll fine-tune it between episodes. Uh, where's the ejector upgrades you gave me? Ah, there we go. Ejector upgrade. Okay, I want it to eject to that side, so shift right click there. And this should say eject items to the west side. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. How about there? So this should now eject items to the east side. Let me grab some ores. We'll try this out. Uh, gold. Gold sounds like a good thing to do. All right, so when the macerated... Gold goes in here and gets macerated. And it's being macerated very slowly, so let's fix this. Okay, it's macerated and dumped into the ore washing plant. Nice! Oh, wow, yeah, I didn't put any of the power upgrades in any of these. Because, you know, brains. All right, so now when this gets done, let me grab some of these overclocker upgrades from over here. I'll have to make new overclock overclocker upgrades to put in these. All right, Easy so for you to say. apparently not. Okay, so this is going to uh, see. This is where it gets tricky because this is going to have three different outputs: the stone dust I don't care about, the tiny piles of dust I do, the purified needs to go over into the thermal centrifuge. So. I need to filter these to where I wonder can do you guys know if um IC2 machines can eject into uh thermal expansion item ducts? Um, That's a clue. Hmm. I don't know. That is a good are question. Item no ducts, idea. I, uh, are item ducts, item ducts still considered a, an inventory because then they sh why shouldn't they? Well, that's the theory. I'm going to test it real quick. There's this. Why can I never find anything in here? This. This. Oh, my. I've got way too much junk in my inventory. Here, get rid of this and this and this and this and this and this and that and that and these. And I'm getting rubber. Why are you getting the rubber? Because you keep picking things up next to me. Okay, so the theory is, now I want to put a filter, that's the servo, here we go, resonant filter. So this resonant filter can go right here, and I'm going to tell it that it can take whitelist purified gold, and we're going to throw this in here, actually no, we're not going to throw any of it in here. But now we should be able to take this and put the ejector upgrade and have it eject to the east side, like this. And in theory, ah, it's not working. Okay, fine, fine. I can work with this. Let's do this then. And since it won't eject to there, let's try to pull from it. Empty blacklist. Ignored. Go. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so that works. The thermal centrifuge has its purified gold, and it's heating up. Okay, so that means that now I have got the tiny piles of gold and the stone dust that I need to then put somewhere. Uh, we have an extra diamond chest, don't we, Max? Yes, it's in the wood chest. Oh, yeah. D duh. I'm the one that told you to put those there. Okay, yep. so... Now the theory is <coughs> that that will now eject those up to there. Sweet. Okay. Now I know we're running over on time, but I have one more thing to do that's going to help close this up. All right. 
Uh, green, white, white ender chest for the win. Oh, wait. Let's put this over here. Here, take this. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. It'll be okay. We're going to put this here and this here and ignore that and this will pull out any completed processes excellent so this is warming up it takes forever for the thermal centrifuge to warm up it's very aggravating okay so we're going to put this here and then we're going to put this here and we're going to put this here and we're going to put an ignore on that one okay so now the only thing i need to do now tell me we have i think i made some i should have a yep there we go resident retriever bingo baby all right so now all i have to do is direct the ores in here and this is actually going to work out perfectly i think maybe if i'm lucky okay yep we're going to put this over here we'll put this right here and we're going to put a retriever and the retriever is going to be whitelisted ignored and since we're processing gold let's go ahead and process gold give me the gold put this here retrieve gold and it should oh yeah baby look at it go all right so the gold goes into here and now let's run upstairs real quick and we'll see this functioning and Good lord, I am hungry again. Liquid lunch? I've had liquid completely, liquid diet. So now we should see the macerator full of gold. So yep, so now it's automatically going to be pulled out of there, put into the macerator, put into the ore washer, and then centrifuged. Which, hey, look, the centrifuge is working. What am I getting out of the centrifuge anyway? Actually, let's do this, change that to high real quick. Let's see what this puts out real quick, and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, in between episodes, I'm going to put in, um, obviously, I'm going to put in speed upgrades here. Tiny pile of silver and a gold dust. Neat. Um, so, yeah, we should be able to, I need to put in, our power supply is not doing the way I want it to. I'm going to make some, uh, some more MFEs and double our power output into the machines. Because right now it's only letting 512 EU out, and I need to up that. I'm not quite ready to make MFSUs yet, though. Well, maybe I could. I don't know. I'll think about that in between episodes, but now we have auto ore processing. So I'm going to put in the upgrades here. I'm going to patch up this wall, and I'm also going to add in that we're going to process more than just gold, although it will take a while before we actually get to that point. Now, next episode, we're going to process the stuff that's actually made here. So we'll have to figure out how to do that. Uh, I know how I'm thinking about doing it, and we'll have to see if it's going to work out the way I want it to. So until next time, this is Jaronita signing off on episode 15 of my uh, of Pandemicraft season four. Uh, you forget to say. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, help spread, help the, gaming. spread the gaming.